I said you talk too much. I had to make me shut up. Feed me an intro. Just feed me something. <clears throat> Hello, Tom. Oh. Are you saying hello to me or to the audience? Everyone. Okay. I only said hello to Tom. So hello, audience, as well. Yeah. It's one watched again. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Well, there's at least one that we know is worth putting up because it's out. That's yeah. the Good Girls Revolt. So this could be the second one. It could be like the we'll ninth. Who knows? Mm, there was a problem with the... Mm. Oh, uh, it's out. Okay. There was a Scientology one, which was quite good, and it had great yeah. Raph. And um, I've just realised, I mentioned that in a previous video, I possibly went up. There was an issue with the sound, and I might have accidentally deleted the sound, and, and it's gone. Probably shouldn't tell you that while we're recording, but there we I'm go. Tom is looking at me with incredibly... I meant to delete... There's so only sound. I know. That's the only file. I know. I think it's still on the recorder if you want it. Uh, and I think, I think historically it's best we keep it. <laughs> so that this conversation remains relevant. It was quite a good one as well. Uh, let's do two editing so we didn't get copyright strike by the BBC and all those assholes. Anyway, right. <laughs> this is one watched. I watched something. It's something you watched. You mentioned to me. Now I've watched it. We're going to yeah. talk about it. It's called The Last Kingdom. Okay. Um, so, w however many one watched are up, I don't know how many there are at this point. They've all been pretty positive. Everything I can think of that we might have talked about has been really enjoyed. Yeah. The Last Kingdom is where this may fall down. There are elements of The Last Kingdom I really enjoy. Yeah. There are elements... I don't enjoy, and we'll probably need to rant about. I'm a fan of Ragnar. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. You're starting it, but we're not there yet. First, we should explain what the Last Kingdom is. Right. There's a guy called Bernard Cromwell. I think his name is. I have some of his books. I think if it's the guy I'm thinking of. If not, I'm coming off as an idiot right now because he wrote Sharp. Okay. He wrote Sharp, and uh, you can't grow up in Sheffield without being made to watch Sharp on ITV. Or you couldn't, at, at my time growing up, you couldn't grow up without people, like kids in school, because this is Sheffield where we grew up, going, you have to watch this. Because it has Sean Bean in, who every Shubbage United fan in the city loves. And, and the city as a whole has adopted as, yeah, he's our actor guy, he dies a lot. And Sharp is like that, yeah, British, yeah, yeah, yeah. No idea if I've seen him. Sharp. Uh, you, you, they're not as good as people make out. They're very twee and of the time. I was more a Hornblower fan. He, that was like Sharp, but on a boat. And it was like the BBC version. Dang. And they had the guy who went to be Mr. Fantastic in the, like, what can now be considered the good Fantastic Four films, nice. even though they're not that like good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, right. So, uh, The Last Kingdom is not like the film, which was about Jerusalem and had um, Legolas and stuff. Yeah. It's about The Last Kingdom in England that hasn't been taken over by Vikings sort of yeah Wessex it right okay there's a guy his name is Uhtred son of Uhtred he actually has another name but then his older brother Uhtred dies so his dad just goes you're Uhtred now yeah and then he goes <laughs> oh I want to mourn Uhtred do you not listen boy you are Uhtred now son of Uhtred like just, yeah so he's Uhtred and as a kid he gets kidnapped right this is no like you could say these are spoilers, but this is like, I'm only going to go as far as the first episode goes in setting up yeah. the premise. I'm not going to go further, except for one character. Yeah. Um, his name's Uhtred. He's a Viking. Well, he's a Saxon. He gets yeah. taken by Vikings as a boy slave. Yeah. And then his dad, who's called Ragnar. And is he called Ragnar? Well, right. His dad seems to be called Ragnar. Then there's another Ragnar. Then there's like people called Ragnarsson. Like, they're just... Yeah. This and just seems to be a, not yeah, Ragnar. There seems to be a lot of Ragnar, which yeah. is the unfor a very unfortunate name, because I've been watching a lot of Vikings, another series, and the Ragnar Lofbrook is like all over that, yeah. and the most like memorable, awesome character that you just can't take your eyes off, who right now might be going back to England to kill a fucking king that deserves fucking death, and it's just no, it's, it's, it's very it. hard yeah. watching like. That's still not a spoiler. <laughs> You know what's the second yeah. of the new... All right, we need to stay on Last Kingdom because yeah. I can't just keep mentioning <laughs> Vikings. But I will be mentioning Vikings a lot. Um, 
So he gets taken as a boy and he gets raised as a Viking, a Dane. They they use yeah. Va- Dane and Viking interchangeably. I think they're probably more Viking than just Danish people. Yeah. But, but, you know. Um, then, later on, he ends up on the bad side of some of the Danes too. And, and then he's like, oh yeah, I'm going to be a Saxon sort of, but I'm not. And then there's a lot of, are you a Christian god or are you a pagan god? Kind of stuff goes into it, and um, that's the premise. And then yeah. it's all about like the Danes and the English under Alfred, who will become Alfred the Great historically if they follow history, and they're like battles. And it's ten, no, eight episodes of that is the first season. I'm gonna watch the first season because that's the only thing on Netflix, and I have no desire to risk viruses on my laptop for a second season. Fair you take it for a bit. So it's um, you should go watch Vikings because <clears throat> that's awesome. I can one hundred percent endorse that. I can definitely <clears throat> say Vikings is worth it, and anything yeah. we mention about Vikings is just like Vikings. You have to get through the first six episodes, and then it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Last Kingdom. I watched the first episode. Mm-hmm. That's all I watched. Um, I talked to you about it, and right, there's like there's bits of it. Okay, like the battles, they're good. Okay, I did not realise you had only watched the first episode. Yeah. When I was complaining to you about the last battle, didn't think yeah. that you had not watched it. Okay, right, that's good then, because that'll keep me in. Right, the whole way through, all I could think was, this is really shallow. Like, it is really shallow. Where there's violence, most of it is violence for the sake of violence. Where there's, like, pillaging, it's like, it's either really so over the top violent and disgusting that you lose all kind of credibility with it. Yeah. Or it's so like just generic bad guys. It could be, you could change their costumes with like Romans and um, Gallic barbarians. You could change it with like uh, Spartans and Athenians or Spartans and Persians. You could change it with um, two tribes of China or like two of the regions of Japan when Japan was like because Japan was loads of regions, yeah. then it was three, and then it was one. As far as yeah. uh, my brief understanding of history, yeah. you could even change it so it's like Viet Cong soldiers and American soldiers and just change the weaponry and stuff. Yeah. And it would be the same sort of crap would happen. Like, it's just... It was so shallow and generic at times that I was, like, pulled back. But then some of the characters are absolutely brilliant. And, and the weird thing is, like, the battles are not great. One of the reasons the battles are not great is they have this horrible habit of we will go as far as our budget will allow us. Yeah. So we'll hire a load of extras and have them in costume and have them very near each other. We might even show some close-ups of our important characters swinging yeah. swords. And everyone knows how to swing a sword. Yeah. And then we will skip time to the end or post-battle. Yeah. And that seems to happen all the time, like post-raids, post-etc. Um, and then when it's like one-on-one battles, they do a lot of like, oh, this guy fought two guys or this guy was chased by one guy, yeah. etc. Especially Uhtred, he seems to always seem to end up with like a gang of three or four of him. And they treat the, like, three and four as if they're more dangerous than the army. So they get, like, loads of attention and really dramatic, but you're not really scared because you've seen Utra take on an army. And so it's like, okay, don't really just yeah. stop. But where it is fascinating is uh, they have King Alfred, and he the performance is amazing as King Alfred. And that, like, I found really interesting. But it's just incredibly shallow. And what frustrates me is um, if you watch Vikings... Like, Vikings is not a historical program, but it aimed to have a lot of historical truth or fact or yeah. knowledge because it's from the History Channel, even though the, the History Channel doesn't... The History Channel, every time, like, I've looked at it, it's always been aliens or Nazi conspiracies. Yeah. Often to do with aliens. Yeah. That's the History Channel now. Like, it's like when MTV, like, didn't play music anymore because I'm an old man, so I use phrases like that. Yeah. Um, they, yeah. Basically, if you watch the History Channel, you get a lot of dumb programs. And then, like, one documentary a week that's about history. Right, okay. It's cool. my experience of history channel. <clears throat> cool. I just realised I'm drinking a tea with the tea bag still in, and my tea has turned really sour. Nice. Yeah, this is sour taste more. Um, so, Last Kingdom, it just isn't a very good, like, show of Vikings or Saxons. And it's all, like, they all speak the same language. So there's no, like, language differences. You're not yeah. learning any cultural words. You just feel like you're kind of just watching a bunch of crap happen and if you like the characters great if you don't don't worry they'll be around and then they might die there's a lot of death and a lot of the deaths don't mean anything and then there's a lot of like someone doesn't die 
and it should mean something, but you're just so used to it that you're just like, okay, I don't really... And it, it was weird, because when it was great, I, like, stuck with it, you know? Yeah. Like, why did you stop at episode one, can I ask? Um, it just felt really long when I watched it. <laughs> did it? Yeah, like, the battle was good, um, in episode one, um, as, uh, the mm. other ones might not be as good. Like, the first episode, the battle was quite good. I'm not going to lie, that's probably my favourite battle. Yeah. Um, but by the end of episode one, I basically only knew who Uhtred was and his uncle. I had no idea who anyone else was except for maybe the king's daughter. Mm. Yeah. And there was a lot of people called Ragnar. Yeah, it's and really one confusing. one of them was really Ragnar. I yeah. don't know which one, but he's dead now, I think. Possibly. I think like there's seven dead Ragnars yeah. and there's seven really alive <laughs> Ragnars. It's, they're all Ragnar. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, basically I couldn't follow it. Um, so I was like, I don't care enough. It was intriguing. It was intriguing enough to tell you about. But, yeah. but then Viking started again, so I don't need it. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. I would... Yeah. I It's... They're different shows, but they cover a sort of similar historical thing, even though Vikings is kind of set before. Yeah. And Vikings does a lot of play with history about like, oh yeah, we're going to have this king alive even though it's like 100 years later to have this king so we can have these moments. But Vikings was like, Vikings feels like a very unpredictable show centred around Viking and and that area, like the western area of Europe's kind of during that time. The Last Kingdom feels like a kind of generic action period drama. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, one of the reasons I was able to get through it is there's a lot of times where two com- characters were having a conversation and I would listen to the beginning and then just like put my mouse on the player and just see where the conversation ended, go just before the end, click, and wait to see if there was any turn. Because sometimes they talk and then yeah. it would be a twist, but most of the time it was just them over-elaborating the stakes. Yeah. If we don't do this, there will be no England. If we don't do this, there will be no England. We did this, now there can be an England. You know, and it's just like... I actually enjoyed... There were certain characters I watched their entire combo. Like, Alfred... The, the actor plays Alfred the Great. He's fucking amazing. And him and should have this great, like, love-hate kind of relationship type thing. And there's an amazing bit where, like, you think Alfred is sort of gone and then he isn't, but they've had to leave the castle. And Alfred just goes, do you, you remember I'm king? And Uhtred just goes, you're just a man now. <laughs> you're Alfred, king of nothing. And it's just like, it's just a real, like, it's, it's taken six, seven episodes to get there, but Uhtred's just like, yeah, you got your, you've been slapped in once, yeah. kind of thing. And it's obsessed with Christianity. Like, it's obsessed with the motivation, the whole motivation being like, oh, it was Christianity. Yeah. It's Christianity. It's Christianity. Yeah. Like, like, everything everyone does is because they're pious and Christian, or they're not pious and Christian, but they're really loyal because they're Christian and they all confess their guilt and yeah. stuff. And it's like, bull fucking shit. <laughs> like, Christianity was a power device at that point in time. Like, I'm not saying whether, like, like people didn't have revelations or miracles or any of that, or, or the, the, the uh, veracity of a faith. I'm not commenting on that. But I know at that time, Christianity and the power of the church was not the reason people did shit. It was the fact that they were killed or, or got rich or poor yeah. is what determined what they did. And the greed and needs of, like, kings and man, etc., is what caused everything. It's not... It wasn't faith. There was never a time when a Viking went, I represent Odin and Thor and all that, and you represent Jesus, and now we'll fight because of this. Yeah. Like, um, even like the Crusades were about land and gold. Yeah. Way more than they were about. And you know how I know that? Because every time they took a place, they went, do you want to convert? And everyone just went, yeah, right. And then they would lose... Like, in the Crusades, which is, we're moving on to in the Crusades, like, literally, like, we're at Antioch, which is Lebanon now, um, or a place in Lebanon, and it'd be like, it was a Muslim uh, fortification. Crusaders took it over. Everyone converts to Christianity. Then, uh, I'm not sure if it was, um, oh, I've forgotten the guy's name, and I don't want to say it wrong. Mm. I want to say it's Saruman, but I think that's a, an evil wizard from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I don't think that's who I'm talking Saladin. It's, I think it's Saladin. Like, they surrounded and like starved them out and took it back and eventually like the crusaders left and they went back in and went, alright everyone convert him back, yeah? And everyone went, yeah. And that was it. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> there's no way it was that like pious, yeah. oh, oh yeah, you know? Because yeah. it was just men and women and mostly men 
Well, Vikings would have had way more women than the Last Kingdom. Last Kingdom, each side gets one fighty woman by the end. Like, each side has <laughs> nice. one fighty woman. But the like, Vikings, they all had sp- yeah. like they had spear wives and all kinds of like fucking fighters. Yeah. Like, you know, we've gone into... If you watch Vikings, you'll see. Like, yeah. the women, the men. They even, like, in Vikings, you ever notice in, like, the big battles, there's always, like, the same female... Um, there's one, like, stunt woman. I, f- I actually read up on her. She's, like, really fucking good. So they always have her die. So they have her, like, wearing different hats or different hairstyles, but you can always tell it's her gets killed because she can do these stunts. Yeah. Like, So, yeah. Um, Last Kingdom. Last Don't Kingdom. know if I recommend it. It's fine. Go watch Vikings. Watch Vikings. That's it. <laughs> what was the Last Kingdom? Go watch Vikings. Yeah. Boom. Bye.